Hello, this is Mike, and I'm here today with a package mail call from Jason over at HWDCC. I'll give a full subscription of his channel in, my, in the title to the video because uh, he's uh, new to my channel, and uh, I'm not familiar with his channel well yet because I've only been knowing him just uh, very short. <laughs> But uh, he had uh, contacted Charles at Charles Diecast Garage and told him he wanted to send me some stuff. So we got together and he got my address so he could send his stuff. And uh, so, like I said, uh, this is uh, a gift from, from Jason at HWDCC. And up first, I had, he had two little cars in the baggie, and I done took them out of the baggie so it wouldn't be hard to uh, show there. And uh, let's see there what we can do about this right here. See, let's move that up in there a couple of notches so it'll show up maybe. But anyway, there's uh, the first item. A 52 Chevrolet, I didn't have it in this color, and I found out why after I got it. It's because this is an old casting that was a two-piece truck. The cab and the bed separate. And I have several uh, different color versions of uh, the later ones. It's a one-piece body. So, yeah, that's the first one for me to have that's two-piece. Most definitely. I think I got a La Trucka that might be a two piece, but this is not a La Trucka. It's plain 52. Awesome. Thank you, Jason. And up next, we got a Bronco, and uh, it's uh, in purple with a little bit of yellow on it. Got yellow wheels. I'll probably do a wheel swap on that later on, or either try to chrome them first. If it don't chrome out, I'll swap them out, put some chrome ones on. I like I like chrome wheels. I think they look good. So anyway, that was the first two little loose items. The rest of it's all carded. So we're going to try to get through it. And up first, we have a Ford Escort, a 1970 model Ford Escort. RS-1600. Awesome. Love it. Very nice. Didn't have that one, too. Thank you, Jason. That's uh, definitely an uh, add to my collection. Definitely going to go in the collection there for sure. And up next, I did not have this one yet. This is a 69 Copo Camaro in yellow. Got the red one. Now I got the yellow one. Awesome. Very thankful to have that. So anyway, up next. Let's try to see if I can change the hands there and get this uh, going. Up next, here's another one I did not have yet. 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport. Awesome. Thank you, Jason. Most definitely. And while I'm at it, Merry Christmas to everybody out there while I'm thinking about it. It be super cold over here, down here in the south. But anyway, up next, I'm sure it's super cold up y'all's way too. Uh, up next, we got this matchbox. And this is the Dodge Swept Side in blue and white. Did not have that in, the, in it, that color. Most definitely thankful for that. Awesome. 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 All right. Up next, what do we have? Up next, we have a Hot Wheels, and it is a Torino, I mean, a, a Thunderbird. This is uh, Matt and Debbie's Hayes. Dang, this thing went on it, focus. Oh, shoot. I hate this the gummo wore out contraption. There we go. Got the uh, 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. Y'all have all seen it. Y'all know all about it. That's the first one for me. 
Yes, indeed. And up next, what do we have? We have a 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 fastback in green. I already have that one a couple times. So, yeah. But it don't need no wheel swap because it's already got my favorite wheels. And up next, we got a 69 Dodge Charger 500. The difference between the regular Dodge Charger and the 500 is the 500 don't have hideaway headlights and it does not have a inset rear window. Indeed. But I got one, one of them, so that's nice to have a second one. Thank you. All right, up next, what do we have? We have a 1981 Camaro. Did not have that one. Yeah, I did not have that one. It's going to have to have some chrome wheels for it, though. I might uh, change the wheels or just try to chrome them. We'll just have to see which one works out the best. Usually cr changing the wheel and put just putting some already chrome on it's best. But Anyway, up next, I got a uh, 1970 Pontiac Firebird. I got one of these, so now I got two. I'm glad to have that one. So I have one I can open. Yep, most definitely. And up next, we have another Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback, and it's in a burgundy color. I guess is what color that would be considered as. Yep, I'm sorry, it wasn't in the camera, was it? Yeah, I did not have that one. Thank you, Jason. Awesome. All right, up next, we have a Volkswagen and it's got a little bit of damage on the, I mean, a messed up wheel there, but, uh, ain't nothing I can't fix. If I had to wheel swap it, I will. I might put some Chrome wheels on it. <laughs> but anyway, didn't have that one either, by the way. Up next, here's another one I did not have and I've been wanting. This is the Ford. Custom 300, I'd say that's a 66 model. I mean, a 56 or 57. Yeah, might be even a 58. Who knows? Awesome. I like that. Thank you. And up next, we have this here Volkswagen. It's a Zamac. Yeah, Zamac Volkswagen Baja Bug. Awesome. But. I don't know. Them wheels is going to have to go <laughs> later on. <laughs> Not right away, though, whenever I get to it. Up next, we got us a Dollar General Store exclusive. A 59 Chevy Impala. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Moving on, we got us another Dollar General Store exclusive. The custom Ford Bronco and those wheels has got to go. Dang old brown wheels. Anyway, up next, we got a matchbox and it be a Jurassic World. And look at that. A 19, what is it? Six, uh, a 1986 Ford F-150 truck. Awesome. 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 Love it. All right. Thank you. All right. Up next, we have an auto world and this is a 66 Chevy Suburban. Awesome. 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 Thank you. All right. All right. The last one in the box and y'all don't run off cause I got something else to show here in a minute. The last one in the box is a green light. I guess he knows I've been collecting some green lights here lately. Uh, the Busted Knuckle Garage. 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood. Awesome. Now, I didn't, hadn't seen this one on the pegs up there at, uh, at the truck stop. And I noticed uh, that the box is a little bit short for this long old Cadillac. So I don't know what to think about that. Why didn't they build a box big enough for the Cadillac to fit into? 
It's a little bit of short. All right, I, I'm about to drop my phone. My fingers are losing grip. I've got to regroup. All right, there we go. Regrouped. All right, that's everything from Jason over at HWDCC. Like I said, uh, he's new to my channel. I'm not familiar with the name of his channel yet. You know, I have to look at it and see what it is. And I can't look and see right now. I don't have internet here. I have to wait until I get the Wi-Fi. And I'll have his name in the channel. I mean, in, in the uh, title of the video description for sure. So, sorry about that, Jason. Not knowing your channel name right off the bat. But anyway, uh, about five or six months ago, the Weekend Warriors sent me some uh, diesel trucks and stuff. And uh, one of the trucks, the, you know, it was just an old truck with no trailer. It was kind of, it was a little beat up. The wheels was uh, rough on it and part of it was broken. So anyway, I took and built me a custom. And what I built the custom out of with that is... Another piece that I had that I did, uh, had took apart, it's a trailer, a diesel truck, tra uh, diesel truck. It was a truck that was just a single truck with the box, you know, cargo box on the back. And I took the car cargo box off and turned the truck into a trailer puller for my Jack Daniels diesel truck trailer. Matchbox Super King, and it worked out great. So anyway, I had that old box left over, and it had been laying around here. And I got to looking at that old truck that a uh, Weekend Warrior sent me, and I thought about it would uh, it would uh, go good with that cab, you know, the cab in the tr box. So here's the box. If y'all don't, I don't know if any about y'all remember it or not, but there is the box. And so I took the truck that was from Weekend Warrior, and I cut the back end off. It was plastic anyway. And I mounted the little piece of the back end on here. I changed out all the wheels. They need re-chroming. But uh, I, put, I put some better wheels on it anyway, I think. And on the bottom here, I'll see if I can point it out. This piece right here on the bottom from right there back to there is an M2 base. I mean, a, a, a case, an M2 case bottom. And it's one of those that don't have the diamond back on it or the diamond, diamond uh, stuff on it. But I put that pieces on there to make it look like it's got a frame between the cab and the, and the rear end. And I put a short piece in between the rear end and this back bumper. I think this back bumper came off the truck from we Weekend Warrior. But anyway, here's the other side of it. And uh, I put that I put a piece in there to make it look like it's got a frame. And I put the a piece. And like I said, that's just uh, a couple pieces of M2 case. Yep. I cut them. JB welded them on there. And uh, also the axles. I didn't have a long enough axle for these wheels, so what I did was I took two. I took two long axles. You may not be able to see it, but what I did is I took an old bread tie, uh, a bread wrapper tie. It's a little piece of wire with plastic on it. I peeled the plastic off and I took that wire and I wrapped it around and around and around that axle till it was tight. Then I mounted the axle on there, and JB welded it all together, and it's good to go. It rolls fine. And so, anyway, we got the axle. The axle is coming out far enough to, you know, to where, uh, well, shoot. Yeah, it keeps, you know, the axle can't, the wheel can't slide way in, you know, because the other axle keeps it from it. But anyway, I got to get on out of here. I want to thank you, Jason. Y'all check out his channel. Anyhow, until next time, this is Mike, and I'm gone.